What's up guys, it's Henry Purple, yellow and red Today I'm going to show you a DIY video on how you can upcycle your old clothes into something completely new and um, I've been sharing these ideas of DIYs and this kind of DIYs already on TikTok and since I got so many requests about a detailed tutorial I thought I'm going to share this now here on YouTube what I'm actually talking about is this is our <laughs> One of the examples I'm talking about, it's like literally a plain shirt where I put patches on and I stitch, embroider some kind of design on top of the shirt. So this is actually what we are going to do today. So what do you need for these kind of designs? Of course you need a shirt. Uh, in my case I took like an old grey sweatshirt. No, it's a long sleeve t-shirt actually. So I decided to upcycle something like that. Then I also had some uh, patches left over from old jackets. I think some cutoffs of the jeans. Then I also used an old towel. So this is also a tip for you guys. If you have like old towels laying around, they are perfect as patches because they have a special kind of fabric, which also kind of looks cool on these kind of patchwork design. Then of course you need um, stitching threads. Um, I ordered this from Amazon. There's like a whole stitching set you can order from Amazon for only like 7 euros or something like that. And you have like 50 different colors which is like a lot. This is very worth to buy. I'm going to tag a link of this kind of embroidering set in this description so you guys can check it out. Another thing uh, you have to use is obviously a sewing machine. I mean you can do it by hand but that will probably take you ages and who doesn't have like a social life? I mean, yeah, okay, now during quarantine, it's, you might have no social life, but um, yeah, I re fully recommend to do it with the sewing machine. It's way faster and way easier and the outcome is way professional, I'd say, but yeah, um, that's up to you. Then obviously some scissors which can cut fabric, then some safety pins, needles, obviously, and some tweezers. Of course, yeah, that's actually it, I guess. So the first step about this is you want to find out which kind of fabric you want to put on your shirt. You cut them into patches, so I did that with, um, I decided actually to go with towel um, fabric and the jeans patches. When you have them cut out, you arrange them on your shirt. I decided to go with like a very um, um, simple design. So I had like three towel patches and I guess four jeans patches and uh, two of the jeans patches are like standing alone and the other ones are kind of connected because I have the feeling that when they are like kind of connected they look cooler in a way on this, this design. When you have found the arrangement of your design of the patches you go ahead to secure your patches with the safety pins and that was also kind of tricky because you have to be careful not um, stitching your safety pins into the other side of the fabric. Then you go ahead and by preparing your sewing machine and leading the thread through the system, it's I guess self-explaining. Then you start sewing your patches on the back side of the cloth. I obviously start with the jeans patches, so I started with white thread and used a normal stitching pattern, which is like the normal straight line stitching pattern. And as for the towel patches, I used like a zigzag pattern. Because, I don't know, if you, if you want to be creative on that kind of stuff, I mean, these are only details, you do not have to do that, but I have the feeling that it kind of looks cooler and more interesting if you also choose different kind of stitching patterns and sewing patterns, I don't know how to call them. When I was done sewing the, the first layer of patches, I secured the second layer of patches with some other safety pins and then I sew them on top of the other patches again and that's actually like the sewing process which is very simple when you like figure it out how it actually works see here now how, how the shirt looks like and then you are actually ready for the second part so next was to check out pinterest um, on my one line board where i collected some more of the one line um, designs and uh, I finally find this kind of cool designs which are like two faces 
uh, laying on top of each other so I downloaded this kind of picture and uh, put it into my program which is obviously just papers on, uh, on Apple and printed it out. If you are interested in Pinterest you can check me out, you can check out my profile. I have different boards, mood boards of different kind of topics, aesthetics and stuff. Also one with all the designs I have put on on my shirts. So if you are interested in that then check out uh, the link in my description. I'm just editing the video and I forgot to say that is um, when you check the designs on Pinterest make sure that these are actually artworks by other artists so when you use the design or planning to use the design and you want to post it somewhere then make sure to credit the artist actually uh, I'm going to link the artist below in the description what I um, the from the artwork I, I use um, and you guys can check it out bye and I really like this kind of design because it has like the moon and the sun on on top of it and I don't know, I, I kind of dig it. So um, for this design I just chose this kind of two faces and I wanted to have it centered on top of the back side of your shirt, of the shirt. And then I um, secured it again with safety pins. Um, be careful again, don't secure the back side of your shirt. So decided to have the faces in the blue grayish kind of thread color and the moon and the sun in the yellow color and I think they kind of match and uh, they also match with the design and with the patches and the towel color patches and um, I started to cut the thread into pieces you secure your thread by putting a little knot at the end of your thread then you poke it through the needle they are special embroidery needles. They are usually a bit bigger than normal sewing needles. So you have to be careful about that because the thread is very thick. So when you put it through the hole of your needle, it, it's usually like the embroidery needles are a bit bigger and they have bigger holes. I started by poking through the outline of my design. So I kind of use this kind of pattern. It's called backstitch. But I figured out that when you use the backstitch, you waste a lot of your thread. If you want to save thread, I recommend to do a half split stitch. What I do is I poke through the shirt, like the outline, and then when I when I when I poke through again, I go back and poke through the middle section of my last thread. So I divide the last thread into two pieces and go up and then I go further. So this is like the technique I use. This design took me like three hours which is lots of time but yeah I don't know I kind of liked it and it's kind of also meditating I don't know I use this as meditation as well in case you get bored you can also watch some kind of movie series TVs and Netflix or something like that or just listen to music I don't know um, or sit in the Sun I used to sit on the balcony all day long and embroider actually that's so much fun I don't know this is like a very old grandma hobby I have right now but I don't know I like it I don't know if you feel the same but this is kind of what I do when your thread is done um, you have to make sure to secure your design actually because you don't you do not want to have it get loose when you wash it or something like that so um, you go onto the back side of your shirt and then you have like little like the little leading lines where you have stitched already you poke your needle through these kind of thread parts and uh, you do this like three two times and then you just um, make a simple knot I usually do two knots on top of each other which is more safe and then you cut off the loose end of your um, the excess of your um, thread so here's the last part of, of the embroidery. I was doing the sun like as the last part and this is actually when I was finished finally after too many hours of work but I think it was kind of worth it. So um, now I'm securing the thread one last time and then I um, was actually done with the design and then it kind of looks like this. I mean you have still the paper on but we are going to remove the paper next. First remove the safety pins and like for the big pieces of paper you can just rip them off but like for the smaller sections like in between the eyes I can recommend to make it wet. I use just a normal sprinkler and then it gets like very smooth and you can just 
rip it off it's like super easy and for like the tiny parts i'm using a tweezer um yeah and this will take you a while but um it's definitely a good way to remove the paper in the end so when you are done you might have like little chunks of paper still in your embroidery design but they will fall off when you have dried your shirt so I hang it out for outside like for I don't know half an hour and it was completely dry and this is actually the final product so this is me trying the shirt on and I have the feeling it looks super dope I like the design how it turned out I like the grayish color uh, with the blue patches and the I don't know pinkish towel color design I don't know I like how it turned out and uh, I hope you guys liked it as well and this is like the final product and um, it's super easy uh, you can try it at home and that was actually the whole tutorial so I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of DIY and um, as you can see it's pretty simple it takes just some time but it, it's actually worth the time I can say so now comes the fun part actually um, I the shirt I've just done in this video I want to give it away for free actually so one of you guys can win this shirt in this video so all you have to do is um, be a subscriber of my channel so hit the subscribe button turn on the notification um, uh, button as well comment below why you want to win this shirt and the best comment wins the shirt and, uh, as for your information this is a medium normal size and um, yeah, it, it's unisex, I would say, so it fits both male and female, so it doesn't matter. And you, yeah, I don't know, if you want to spare some time and if you're too lazy to do this design yourself, you can actually win it. And this is your chance. So um, yeah, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of little DIY video and I will see you guys in the next video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos in future. And I can't wait actually to see you guys in the next video and talk some about some more stuff. Yeah, I see you guys soon. Talk soon. Be safe and uh, ciao. Purple, yellow, and red.